within all of the Sahaba and Sahabiyat, you find every single, every single minor and major sin and every single illness and every single struggle that humans go through has actually been documented in the Sahaba and Sahabiyat. We do this strange thing sometimes as Muslims where we like put on these rose-colored glasses and we romanticize the Sahaba and they were just these, you know, and they were, they were mountains, no doubt, every single one of them. But they also had human conditions and struggles that they went through. And in those interactions with the Prophet wasallam and with each other, we learned so much of what you do. The guide, the living guide of what Islam is meant to actually embody. We have beautiful guides, but we tend to not use them as much, right? So a lot of the work that we're doing actually is a revival. It's kind of going backward and reviving that historical understanding and putting it into modern practice.